Hey, Karen here, and it is time for After the Facts for UFC Vegas 27, where Rob Font defeated Cody Garbrandt in the main event. I can't believe it went all five rounds. Very surprised by that. I really did not think that was going to happen, but there's quite a few facts here, so let's get going. Uh, longest active win streaks in the lightweight division is Magulov is now on the map. Nine for the champ Oliveira. That sounds good, doesn't it? Saying the champ Oliveira. Seven for Dariush and Makhachev and seven now for Ismagulov. Congratulations. A longest active unbeaten streak looking in the flyweight division. Uh, the champ Figueredo with six, Moreno with five, that fight's going to be very good. That's coming up really soon. Can't wait for that one. Actually going to be really entertaining. Uh, four for Askarov and three now for David Dvorak from the Czech Republic. Uh, he is now on there with longest active unbeaten streaks. He's one of the guys that Patrick Cote and I talked about in our fight card focus video. So you can go back and learn some more about uh, Dvorak and uh, and Ismagulov, actually. So there you go. Uh, okay, moving on to the fastest knockouts in the flyweight weight division. There was a 15 second knockout by Dustin Ortiz, a 32 second by Henry Cejudo, 44 seconds. I'm sorry if I'm going to say this wrong. Sumaderji and one from Freddie Serrano at 14, 44 seconds as well. And then tonight, Bruno Silva got on the map with a one minute knockout. There's that. And uh, moving up onto the main card now, Jack Hermanson, who uh, had a rough first round, and he even said so. He did win the fight with Edmund Shabazian and, in fact, ended up getting 10-8 in the third round. So good performance for him. He picked up his ninth win in the middleweight division, so he is now tied with the champ, Israel Adesanya, for the most wins in the middleweight division with nine. Damn. Okay, moving up. So Carla Esparza, how about Carla tonight? Cookie Monster was in beast mode. So she was victorious over Yan Xiaonan, who was on a six-win streak in the UFC. She was unbeaten in the UFC, but Carla put a stop to that. So she, she got the 11th uh, TKO or KO from the crucifix position in UFC history. There's only been 11 of them. Uh, her 169 ground strikes are the second most in strawweight history. The most was just one punch more at 170 between Andrade and Gedalia. So good for you, Carla, on that. And one more fact when we look at strawweight wins, win streaks, uh, Carla is on a five win streak, as is Tatiana Suarez, who will be hopefully coming back now. She's clear to fight, although she says she may go up to flyweight. So we'll see on that. But, uh, and four wins in a row for Mackenzie Dern. So, and this is actually the note that was right from me at work today. So that's an authentic KB note. And then also some stuff about when the uh, other fights might be happening. There's a little, ooh, look at that. Those are, those are not 100% confirmed, but maybe. But anyway, yeah, so that's some stuff there from work. Okay, so uh, moving on to Rob Font. So Rob looked pretty awesome tonight. Really awesome. Uh, most Bantamweight wins in UFC history, 12 for Dillashaw, 11 for Sterling, Asun Sao, and Faber, and 9 for Font and Munoz. And uh, Aljo was in the building tonight, too. Uh, I was talking to him for a while, so he's on the mend. He's feeling so much better about his neck. It's just it's great for him. So there. Uh, most wins in Bantamweight history. And, okay, so also Font with his 176 significant strikes, the second most ever in a Bantamweight fight. Jan landed 194 versus Jose Aldo at UFC 251. And one more fact for Rob Font, uh, his uh, plus 113 significant strike differential is the second largest in a Bantamweight fight. So he landed 176 strikes to only 63 for Cody. So that's where the differential comes in. So plus 113, it's the second most ever. The largest one belongs to Von Lee and his win over Nam Fan. That was 142 to 24. So that was a plus 118 strike differential. So anyway, those are your after the facts. I do these after every UFC event. I had a blast working with Alan and Bilal. Uh, Bilal's got to be fighting Damian Maya in a couple weeks at UFC 263. So wishing him luck on that. And, um, you know, Alan had announced his retirement last week, so congratulations to him. And Paul Felder announced his tonight, so congratulations to Paulie Paul. I love that guy, and I'm really happy for him. It's a, it's the right move, and it's a great move for him. So yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the fights, uh, and I'll see you on the next one.